Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be filming my review and three looks on the Juvia's Place, the Zulu eyeshadow palette. I have been wanting to try out more palettes from Juvia's Place just because I'm a huge fan of the Nubian palette. That is like one of my favorite all-time palettes. So I wanted to just play around with more of their shadows and see what the other palettes are like. And today we are gonna be focusing on the Zulu palette. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts, some swatches, and then at the end you will see my three looks using this one palette so if you guys are interested in all of that then just continue watching okay so this is the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place this is 20 US dollars but right now it is on sale for 12 US dollars I did see on the website it does say limited edition so maybe that's why it's $12 and it's on sale because they might be getting rid of this palette very soon or what is it left on stock are their last palettes that they have to sell which is a shame because this palette is so beautiful I love the color story in here but you do get six mattes and three shimmers slash metallics as you can see comparing this palette to my head this is a huge palette I have a huge head so this palette is massive if you guys have the Nubian palette I will hold them up side by side so you can just see the pan size difference that is just humongous it's like probably double its size so I know with Colourpop you can get nine shadows for 12 US dollars and this would be the same nine shadows 12 US dollars but you are getting so much more product because these pan size are huge but in reality when are you ever gonna like hit pan on one of these because it's just massive <laughs> like it's just so big but anyway let's talk about my thoughts on the Zulu palette overall I think this is a really great palette I think it's a very fun unique colorful eyeshadow palette to play with this color story is very unique and it was just very exciting to play with this palette like I was genuinely excited to play with this palette because it's just something different and just different from the ordinary palettes that we've been seeing you probably can somehow create an everyday look with this but for me personally I feel like this is a palette when you want to make a statement and it's just bright and colorful to me it's not an everyday palette so it's not a palette that you're gonna pick up a lot but then again it's 12 US dollars it's very very affordable the formula is amazing I love Juvia's eyeshadow formula definitely in my top three I love the formula and the pigmentation on these is out of this world I do think it's like a little bit inconsistent this mint teal shade here you have to use a base underneath it or it's not going to show up so what i did i just used my p louise base and once i did that it does show up true to its color um, but you do need a base for it i did try it with outer base and it's just very light the pigmentation is not there so that does need a base I think this purple also needs a little bit of help I am wearing it on my eyes today I didn't use a base for this product it did take me a long time to build up other than that like you know this pink the yellow the orange the brown it shows up very very nicely so just for those two mattes I feel like it does need a little bit more work but once you get it to work it is a beautiful shade I think the metallics are all very very beautiful these two specifically I think are very unique this blue and this green I don't have a color like this in my collection very unique it's a good range and you can create a crazy amount of looks with different color combinations and that's just so cool to hear from like a nine pan palette because usually with nine pans you know it's not a lot of eyeshadows to work with to create multiple looks but the color combinations and choices is just endless that you can mix and match with. I think that's all I have to say about this palette. Formula is amazing. Shade range is amazing. I talked about some inconsistencies. It's just a nice, fun, bright palette to play with. If you want some color in your life, I think this is a really great palette to have on hand. And yeah, 12 US dollars. It's an amazing price for amazing quality eyeshadows. All right, with my review being done, we can now move on to my swatches and also my three looks. So 
Starting off with the first look, I'm going to be taking the second shade on the bottom row and I'm going to use this as my transition shadow. I'm going to sweep that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions and I'm going to blend that towards my brow bone. I'm actually going to bring the shadow up quite high just because I want like a very smoked out, diffused look. So bringing that quite high up to my brow bone and just using circular and windshield wiping motions to get a good blend. I'm also going to take this onto my lower lash line as well, just sweeping it from the outer corner to the inner corner. Next, I'm taking the third shade on the first row and I'm going to start packing this color on to the outer and inner part of my lid space. We are going to be creating a soft halo eyes, so I do want most of the shadow right at the outer third and inner third of my eye, leaving the middle blank with no shadow. I'm also going to take this shade onto my bottom lash line as well by pressing it up against my bottom waterline. And now I am taking the first shade on the last row. I'm going to use the shadow width and I'm going to place that right at the center of my lid where we did try to keep it blank with no shadow. I just think this color combination is so pretty. It's so subtle, but it's still like a pop of color at the same time. And definitely when you apply the shadow in the pen, it looks like a rose gold. But once you apply it, it definitely turns into more of like a yellow bronze gold. Now I am taking my Artisy in Modester Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. I'm going to use this to tightline my entire upper waterline. And I'm also going to use this to line my lash line as well. And I'm going to use this to start creating a smoked out wing. I'm just going in between brushes and using the third shade on the first row in the palette to help smoke that out as well. Just because this look is a very soft halo eye, there's like no harsh edges. I just thought using an eyeliner to create my wing would be much more appropriate for this look. It really ties in the subtleness of the look. And this guys is going to complete the first look for my lashes. I am wearing the Kiss Lashes in the style Ritzy. And for my lip pairing, I decided to go with the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the shade Chimmy Changa. I love how this look turned out. It's a very soft halo eye, very romantic. So I hope you guys like the look as well. To get started with the second look, I'm going to be taking the second shade on the first row and this is going to be my transition shadow. I'm just going to sweep that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions and as you can see, I am bringing this quite high up almost towards my brow bone and I'm also dragging it out towards the outer corner into like a cat eyed shape. I just want the shade to peek through underneath all the brighter colors that we're going to place on top later and it's just going to be our like base color and I want this to set the tone for the eyelid. Look. I'm also going to bring this onto my lower lash line as well, just sweeping it from the outer corner right to the inner corner, making sure at the outer corner we are connecting the shadows at that point. Moving on to the first shade on the first row, I'm going to use the shade to help deepen out the outer corners of my eye by just picking on the color there first and then blending it up towards the yellow shade. And you're slowly going to see these two shades just blend magically into each other. They just work so nicely together, but it is just going to add that warmth and definition right at the outer corner as well. I'm also going to bring this onto my lower lash line, again, just sweeping it from the outer corner right to the inner corner. And then taking the third shade on the first row, I'm doing exactly the same thing, but I am using a smaller brush and I am focusing it slightly lower towards my lash line, not towards my crease as much. But again, it is just to help deepen out the eye look. I always like making the outer corners of my eyes darker just because it does give the illusion of like a cat eye shape and it just really elongates my eyes and I like that style on my eye shape. But I'm also going to bring this onto my lower lash line as well, but this time I'll be pressing it up against my waterline rather than just smoking it out. 
I'm then taking my P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm gonna place that right at the inner part of my lid. I am not going to be cutting out my crease with this. I'm actually going to blend this around the edges. I just want the inner part of my lid space to be tacky. That way when we place the next shadow on top, it can really appear true to its color. So I'm taking the first shade on the second row and I'm going to place this right on top of that P. Louise base. Now I tried placing this shadow on top of no base and it was very lackluster. You definitely could not see that true teal color. But once you place like a base underneath, you can really see this come through and more true to its color if you know what I mean. So that was the purpose of the P. Louise base was just to enhance the shadow. I'm actually going to go back into the second shade on the first row, the yellow matte shadow, on a very small fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to use this shadow to help blend out and diffuse that mint matte shadow just around the crease area because again, this is not a half cut crease. I want everything to be very smoky and just blown out. And when you mix the yellow and the mint teal, it does create kind of like a lime green in that area. Moving on to the third shade on the second row, I'm actually going to be using this shadow wet. I'm just going to place that right on top of that mint teal shadow that we just placed on. This metallic shadow is just going to enhance the mints and the blues in the previous shadow that we placed on. And it's just going to give a little bit more dimension to the eye look. And I'm also going to bring that towards my inner corners to highlight that area. Using this shadow just straight onto my skin, it's more brighter, it's more minty. But placing it on top of like a minty blue eyeshadow, it's more of like a teal. It looks like we used two different shadows on our lids and then our inner corners, but we didn't. We just used the same shadow, but we were just layering. And to complete the look, I'm just going to use my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Overboard, and I'm going to use this to tightline my entire bottom waterline. And this, guys, is going to complete the second look. For my lashes, I am wearing the Petite Cosmetics Lux Fake Mink Lashes in the style Envy. For my lip pairing, I decided to go with the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the shade Rise and Shine. But that completes this look. I hope you guys like it. I love this color combination. I feel like I haven't done this color combination ever, and I'm just so thankful for this palette that it allowed me to create such a fun look. It literally makes me so happy just seeing all of these colors on my eyes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. To get started with the final look, I'm going to be taking the second shade on the third row and I am going to use this as my transition shade, but technically I am just literally sweeping this all over my lid space up to my brow bone. Like I bring this up really high, I kind of got carried away with it. So it's not really a transition shadow because it's not just like in my crease, it's just like all over my lid space. But I do like how it turned out at the end, I think it gives like a strong pink base underneath every other color that we're going to place on top. I'm then going to take the third shade on the third row, the purple, and I'm going to use this to kind of deepen out the outer third of my eye. Because we are creating a half cut crease, you do want to bring some of that product towards the inner part of your crease. That way the cut crease can contrast against that purple. With any other cut crease, I would probably like this purple to be a little bit darker, just so the cut crease can contrast a little bit more. But nonetheless, I'm just going to try and pack on this color to be as pigmented as it can be, so just take your time with that. I'm then going to take my P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm going to use this to cut out my cut crease. I'm going to place that right at the inner third of my lid space, bring that up towards my crease area, and then I will take a thinner paintbrush to help define and really cut out that crease. And I'm going to bring that actually quite high up, passing my natural crease fold. That way when you look up, you can still see the cut crease and there is going to be no transfer as well. 
And now I am taking the second shade on the second row and I'm going to use this shadow wet but we are going to place that right on top of that P. Louise base and this is going to be the star of the show. I feel like green and purple is a color combination we don't see too often. This kind of gives me, I don't know, Maleficent, Disney villain vibes. I think these two color combinations is super pretty together and I want to do more of it. So it's a nice color combination to play with. I'm glad we have this very unique lime light green. Going back into the second shade on the third row, I'm going to use this on my lower lash line, just really smoking and diffusing that out, just sweeping it right from the outer corner to the inner corner. I am going to drag it a little bit lower to give me more of like a smoked out grungy look. And also going back into the third shade on the third row, I'm going to use this to define my lower lash line by pressing it up against my bottom waterline. And finally, to finish off the look, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank and I'm going to use this to tightline my entire bottom waterline. And this is going to complete the final look for my lashes. I am wearing the Petite Cosmetics Luxe Fake Mink Lashes in the style Diva. For my lip pairing, I decided to go with the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the shade Treasure Island. But I hope you guys enjoyed this half cut crease from me. I feel like I haven't done a cut crease with this color combination either. So I'm really happy that I got this palette because I really do like the green and the purple. And just how nicely they contrast against each other so I hope you guys enjoyed this half cut crease as well all right guys so this is going to conclude today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give the video a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it so much if you did I love doing three looks one palette videos but they do take a lot of time to film and edit and to plan so I would appreciate it so much if you guys did enjoy the video to give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts on the Zulu palette do you guys already own it what do you guys think what do you guys think of the three looks I think they were really fun and just so different from each other I feel like every three look was so different so let me know your thoughts and let me know which look was your favorite I would love to hear your opinion but yeah that is pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye